Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Haru and I'm so so glad that you are here with me today. So this video I'm doing a drawing that's actually inspired by another YouTube artist that I watch a lot, Casey Colden. And if you don't know her literally, well, what are you doing watching my YouTube videos? Go watch her. But don't don't leave yet, please, because I'm happy that you're here. So Casey Golden's done a couple of drawings like this and it's a room or maybe she do a couple of rooms and you're looking at it from above but not like bird's eye view from like an angle so you can see inside the room and everything in the room and I just did a lounge room so you can see the sofa now And then the character, he is one of my own characters. You can nearly call him an OC, I guess, if I call him, draw him enough times. I made him up last year, and I've only drawn him part twice. He's got a really, really sad history, like, but all the, the two drawings I have drawn him in, he was, like, they're really, they had a really sad meaning. But he's happy now and he's out of his little mental ditch. And now he's got his own apartment. He's sleeping on the floor. And as you can see, I did not film the art line art because it's basically just drawing. But I did add a couple more details like the wood and the pictures on the poster and I think the button on the Persian carpet. <laughs> Pardon me. And maybe the lights as well. Oh, I keep burping, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but I'm just colouring it all in with watercolour and I use Kudatake and I also use this other brand. I think it might be Vivia and they're handmade and I got them in a scroller box. And they might be from India. I want to say India, but I'm not sure. But they're really, really good. So that's what I'm doing. And honestly, I'm so happy with how this piece did turn out. It just makes me so happy to look at and I'm really proud of myself. I honestly wish that I had a room like this. That'd be so awesome.
I should make a series with him, but I don't know what his name should be. It also doesn't make sense that he fell asleep while drinking coffee, because maybe it's a hot cocoa or non-caffeine tea, or maybe he's just drinking non-caffeine coffee, which is kind of depressing, but sure. And he's also got a spit bubble, which I don't know. Like, is it possible to blow sweet bubbles while you're sleeping? Or is that just a cartoon thing? Because I know you can blow sweet bubbles on demand, but what about like when you're sleeping? Anyway, back to the drawing. Now I'm doing colouring in the posters. Um, so there was one poster with like the sun. I was going to write something on it, but I didn't know what to write. Aesthetic mushroom posters that you see around on Pinterest and like you'll see it in a couple of shops every now and then. There's actually a couple of shops in town that have mushroom posters. And the other one is a cat and coffee poster with a picture of a cat and a coffee. A little silhouette of a cat and a coffee. You know, I only recently this year found that worked out how to say silhouette. Because I would always read it in books and I would read See loud. And then one time I said it, my dad was like, What are you talking about? And then I realized it's I said it. After coloring in the mushroom poster, and this is probably my least favorite part of the drawing to do. Just because it's so tedious and I had to switch through colours so I sped it up for you guys because it really took me a really long time to colour him. Other than that, this piece is really fun to colour. And with like picking out the colours I was using, this is what I do with most pictures. I just first colour in the bits that I know <laughs> what colour I want it to be. Like the couch and the wood and the coffee and the lamp and the sun poster and then everything else I just do in what would look good with the colours that are already there. I also already know that I want the rug to be blue because I really want a blue Persian rug myself but they're really hard to find.
And you know guys, I think I finally actually found my style. Um, I don't really want to talk about it now, but I think I'm going to make a video about it. Because... <sighs> Sorry. Because I always see videos floating around saying how to find your art style, how I found my art style. And I've always watched them. Because I was like, what do you mean art style? Like I never really understood that you kind of have a style. And you don't really have a choice of what style you are best at drawing, if you know what I mean. And yeah, I'll like make a proper video about it and I'll like explain it. And I also painted the white round cushion yellow because I felt like the white was kind of sucking the colour out of the picture, if you know what I mean. It just didn't look as good. And then I'm finally onto the walls 
which I painted a light blue. And there was one thing I would say about the handmade watercolours is some of the colours, the pigment, you can kind of see in the very middle how it's not even and it's like the pigment or the dye used in the watercolour dyes the actual paper and it's, you can't, it's not like, you know if you have watercolour and you get a wet brush and you can kind of pick the colour can't really do that with some of it, it's like it's stuck to the paper, so I had to like wash a heap, get a heap of water, wash it away, but it didn't really work, so then I just got a different blue and went over it. So I think I mixed, fixed it. And then I'm just doing over fairy lights. And you can also see how I did on the edges, I um, got grey and that's just to give it more definition and I don't know, it just looks better. I don't know all the right words. Depth. <laughs> and I'm cutting it out. And that's pretty much it. So thank you so, so much for watching my video. I'm so grateful if you made it this far. And I post every Sunday. So I hope to see you then. Bye.